evening. Tonight we're gonna to make a chickpea kale and tomato stew. In uh, my pan, I have three tablespoons of olive oil, which is heating up till it like shimmers when it's hot. In my bowl, I have uh, two medium onions diced. I have a jalapeno diced. I have uh, two cloves of garlic minced. And I also have um, one tablespoon of grated ginger. I'm gonna put that into the pan. And I'm going to let that, you can hear it hit the oil. I'm going to put that in the pan with a, about a little bit of, tea, about a teaspoon of, of salt. That's going to go in there also. You're going to give that a stir and you're going to let that cook about two minutes on like a medium, medium, medium low heat. While that's cooking, I'm going to show you, um, I don't know if you've ever seen fresh ginger. This is what I use. And when you go to peel it, you peel it with a spoon. Don't try using a knife, but peel it with a spoon. And it takes the skin right off for you. It makes it easier to grate or tripe, chop or whatever. And when you're gonna go to um, grate it, this is a ginger grater. This is a special tool just for grating ginger. So I just wanted to show you that while that's cooking. So it'll be about a couple minutes before we do the rest of this part of the recipe. Yeah, vegetables are translucent. I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of curry powder. And what you're gonna do is just stir that and let that cook for like 30 seconds. And that's all that's gonna take. 30 seconds on that. And then while that's ready, I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take our, our two heads of kale, which I took the rib out of, which I showed you the rib before. The rib is this stocky part here. This is what I cut out of them. And then I cut that into pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my chickpeas, I have two cans of chickpeas that are drained and rinsed. We're going to add that. And then we're going to add two cups of vegetable stock. And then we're going to add our tomatoes. It's one whole uh, can of, uh, 28 ounce can of tomatoes. I use the organic crushed. We're going to give that uh, a little more, I put the salt in, I'm going to put a little more salt in. And then I'm going to put a twist of black pepper in there. Gonna let that cook through for a second and then we're gonna add our kale. We're gonna add our kale and we're gonna bring it to a boil and then turn it to a simmer. Like we, like we usually do with our soups, we bring it to a boil and then we bring it to a simmer and we're gonna let it simmer partially covered for 20 Oh, I'm sorry, 20 minutes. So I'm going to put my kale in now, stir that around, give it a nice big stir, bring it to a boil, and then when it starts to boil, bring it to a simmer for 20 minutes. See you back in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. Everything's cooked down. I have a juice of a half a lemon here. I'm just going to juice this in to here. If you don't have... Um, a fresh lemon, you can put in a couple of tablespoons of lemon juice. That's just to get rid of some of the heat that's in there. So I'm going to stir that around like this, and then I'll take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. It's, it's a nice hearty, um, hearty meal, especially with the winter time coming up and the change in seasons. Okay, that's what it looks like. Here's the recipe, and see you next week.